today we will be showing you how we remove and replace brake pads on a Ford Focus MK3 third generation that you guys covered the years from 2012 all the way until 2016 probably uh, you need to jack up the car okay the side you're working on left right will demonstrate on the left side use a jack stand guys always safety first okay and now we are going to uh, go ahead and remove the wheel and uh, we want to inspect those uh, those brake pads because the car has been sitting for a long time so we'll show you how to remove them how to replace them if ours are still good we might uh, use those we'll see uh, or, or if we need to order because I think we'll be ordering rotors as well because otherwise we'll have to turn those every time you put new brake pads it's recommended to go and cut them turn them so they're nice and uh, smooth again but they're not too shiny okay we're going to turn the wheel all the way to the outside now to the left in our case and uh, that way we can reach the bolts for the brake caliper right here you can guys borrow a compressing tool or buy one from a parts store but uh, if you stick what we usually do we stick our screwdriver okay right here between the disc brake and the disc okay like that and we're going to free up some space that way it's going to compress okay you see in a little bit how much we are gonna gain we already are okay okay that's quite a bit because when you put new brake pads you need to make sure that the, the piston is compressed all the way otherwise the caliper will not fit over the disc and the brakes then this spring guys you need to hold it that's very uh, spring loaded so be careful not to shoot at you to hurt you okay so you need to remember how you take it off okay like that and next we have a couple caps right here that we need to remove okay one on top and we also have one on bottom okay let me see if I can get it here okay a little bit okay that one right there and uh, we will need to get those loose now okay the one here and the one over there uh, that way we'll be able to remove just the uh, half of the brake caliper without the mount uh, you'll be it'll be easier to do and uh, for that purpose we'll be using an allen wrench we'll show you which one it is in a second you need to make sure that your model uses exactly the same because some here might differ okay uh, that's the allen wrench and in our case this is a seven okay you can see it fits perfectly fine here and we need to get that one loose be careful not to damage the brake line because it's very close to it there okay we got that one loose and now the one on the bottom as well Okay, we're going to use just the little impact to sheet and get them off faster so we can save you guys some time and not waste your time watching a long video. And don't forget guys to check out our main channel World Mechanics as well. We have amazing builds. Okay, those are the glides right here. If you have some rust deposits, you can clean those and apply grease there actually. They will slide better. And now we can go ahead and remove the caliper. Okay out of there you can see but never let it hang now okay that's the inside part you can go ahead and remove it that's the one with the spring okay like that you know get a wire or a zip tie heavy duty zip tie something and just tie it for the spring there the shock that way it's not going to hang on the brake line because that's very dangerous it can damage it and you lose your brakes the outside brake pad you just pull it out guys like that so ours still look fine, I mean they're not too shiny, that's good, uh, they're still original parts, we'll be ordering some probably with new brake, uh, brake rollers as well, or we'll cut those and get uh, original parts as well, but how you put them together guys, it's uh, kind of like we took them apart in reverse order, okay, you need to make sure that it goes there in the glides, everything is good like that, and uh, after that you need to get the caliper and you need to press the inside part all the way in okay 
you cannot confuse those because the inside is the one with the springs that goes in the piston there just like that and we are going just to put it on top where it was you need to make sure that you, you get those bolts tight on the back and uh, just don't cross thread those you have to be careful okay we got one and now the second one find the torque specs online uh, you can call the dealer if you need to they should be able to give you that but uh, we usually do those by hand okay like that and the one on the bottom as well we just our way that we replace them guys just to show you how we do it Alright, okay, guys and after we install the caps we're going to install the little spring here okay it's easier to get it like that in the holes okay you see like that and you just go over on top of this one there okay it's a little bit of a mess to get that one where it's supposed to usually okay push it all the way in okay and that's it and what you need to do now guys you need to go inside the vehicle and you need to press uh, the brake uh, because otherwise you have play and it will not be catching so go ahead and press the brake pedal until you feel it firm okay and hard uh, at least 10 15 times to be safe guys and uh, that will pretty much be the whole procedure so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe let us know what you think many more videos coming and check out our mechanics our first channel